Good morning my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking and today I'm going to show you how I clean my sink for motivation because it's filthy. Okay, so today I want to show you something that I find inspirational and motivational. This is actually something that I learned from Fly Lady many, many, many years ago. Um, I don't follow Fly Lady routines, but there are certain things that have just stuck and work for me. One of those is, she calls it shining your sink. I really just call it cleaning my sink. You're going to hear Leo playing in the background. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have a two-year-old and a eight-week-old at home. Well, actually, he just turned two months old. Um, so I have a two-year-old and a two-month-old at home, and then I have two older boys that are at school. They're 12 and 16. So, anyway... To get to the point, she says that shining your sink will inspire you to clean the rest of your kitchen. And for me personally, that works. I don't know why. There's just something about seeing it so clean and shiny that inspires me to, you know, get off my butt and get more done. So I'm going to show you how dirty my sink is. Um, I have let it get a little more dirty than normal for the purpose of this video. Um... But, I mean, let's just be honest. It, sometimes our sinks get dirty and they need scrubbed. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to use and I'm going to show you my dirty sink. Okay, so the only thing I've done for the past few days is just rinse it out with water and not scrub or wipe anything. So you see I have dirty, dried food. I've got some really gross looking water, gross, yucky stuff here. Um, kind of around the rim is a little dingy. Ooh, especially right here. So, that is my dirty sink. And what I'm going to use to clean it is just an all-purpose cleaner. You can use any kind. It does not have to be fancy. It can be, like, something cheap. And you're going to use a glass cleaner. Again, it can be whatever you have on hand. I'm going to use just a... This actually came from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar for two. So I'm just going to use a scrubby sponge, and then my secret weapon is a toothbrush. I bought a pack at Kroger for, I think I got like four for two bucks or something, and I use one of them, or actually I use all of them at different times for um, scrubbing and cleaning. So I'm going to show you how I do it, and you're going to be amazed at how sparkly and clean this very dirty sink can get. So here it is all dirty. The first thing you're going to do is give it a good spray down with your all-purpose cleaner and get to scrubbing with your sponge. Try to get in all the little cracks and crevices as good as you can. The next thing you're going to do is use your toothbrush to get in all the little crevices and cracks that you couldn't get into with your sponge. You're just going to give it a detailed scrub. Try to get in all the little places that you normally don't scrub. And the next thing you're going to do is just rinse everything down. Don't be afraid to get water everywhere. Um, it dries up. It's just water and it makes it easier to wipe it down. After you get it all rinsed out, you're going to just take a regular rag and give it a good dry. And then you're going to take your window cleaner, spray it down, and you're going to use a microfiber cloth or something that is dust free. Okay, I know this is a weird angle, but I want my shiny pretty sink in the background. So I don't have the nicest sink in the world. Um, it's We would like to have like a deep farmhouse type sink. Um, it has scratches and things that no amount of scrubbing is going to fix, right? No amount of scrubbing is going to get rid of these deep, deep scratches. But my sink is very shiny and pretty and clean. It is as pretty as my sink is going to get. And, I mean, that just, I have stuff everywhere from cleaning, but that just makes me want to clean the whole rest of the kitchen you know it just makes me want to keep it clean and shiny and that's the whole idea be behind shining your sink is to keep you motivated to keep it clean I don't want to put dirty dishes in here because it's so clean look at that so I'm gonna empty the dishwasher so that I have somewhere to put the dirty dishes when they get dirty 
Um, it smells nice and clean. The, the secret weapon is the glass cleaner because it just makes it really shiny. Um, and you know, they also say, Fly Lady also says you may need a Brillo pad, which, you know, if you want to really go at it, I, two year olds. Um, I would suggest if it's your first time ever really deep cleaning your sink that you use a Brillo pad. But I would suggest if it's your first time ever shining and deep cleaning your sink that you use a Brillo pad because there's probably going to be a lot of like, I had paint in my sink when I first shined it um, and the Brillo pad will take that out of there. Um, it'll clean up pretty much, pretty much anything out of your sink. And then it won't be, if you keep wiping it down every night, it won't, you won't have to scrub it like that very often. Like if you scrub it once a month, you're going to be fine. But just wipe it down every night and get all the gross stuff out of it. And I like to spray mine out with Windex when I'm wiping it down. Or not Windex. I used to use Windex. Um, I still do, truthfully. I still use Windex when because this girl is on a budget. I don't have time to be spending $3.99 when I could be spending $1.99. So uh, off-brand Windex is usually what I use. But I have this, so I'm using it because, you know, why not? Um, and you also might need... A butter knife for getting around like the rim of your sink. I also like to take a minute and wipe down the backsplash when I'm doing it just because it, you know you get food and gross stuff on it. Anyway so that is how you deep clean your sink. That is how you get all the nasty grimy gunk and stuff out of it and then you're left with this beautiful shiny sink. You can also put a put yourself a nice seasonal dish rag in there and then it looks pretty and festive and uh, you'll be happy with it. I know you will because I'm happy with mine. I only have one sink stopper. We used to have two. Somehow it got lost. Explain to me how you lose a sink stopper. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put up my cleaning supplies and get on with cleaning the rest of my kitchen. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know, do you have any sink cleaning tips? What, uh, what do you use to clean out your sink? What do you use to keep, how do you keep it clean? You know? Do you wipe it out every day? Do you just wing it and clean it whenever you think it needs it? Um, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, subscribe if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.